All right, fighthype.com here with the undefeated super bantamweight Darren yeah. Cunningham. Darren, what's the good, third. man? I'm the third. Darren Cunningham. Put that on there. Okay, Darren Cunningham, the yeah. third. That's right. You gotta get it right. Man, when you saw the ESPN top 25 under 25, did you feel slept on like they left you out? No, I can't. I, I can't really say that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all up to me. You know, when I take pre precaution and put those things in my hand, you know, it's gonna be up to me to put myself on that top 25 list. So I can't really say like that they sleep in, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta more so put the world on notice. Mm -hmm. That's well, what I'm gonna do. Well, you're 11 and 0 now. Mm -hmm. you finally, are you finally not a teenager anymore? <laughs> Yeah, I'm still, I'm young, you know what I'm saying? I'm still young and I'm growing, but no, I'm not. Man, we got that um, in your weight class, Angelo Leo and Stephen Fulton fighting. Yeah. Who, who do you think of that fight? The winner wins, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just a spectator, but just know, like, if either one of them still got that belt, when the time comes for me, I'm taking that belt. That's all I got to say. What, what do you think realistically could be the soonest time you could get in, in position for a title shot? You know, what I see in this day, this day and age is that, like, a lot of guys, you know, I'm still considered a young guy, but, you know, they want to rush the process. And I feel like once, once I become on that level and when I'm fighting against champions, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be there for a while and I'm going to be able to fight every last one of the champions. You know what I'm saying? I can't get a belt and then say, I don't want to fight Sean. Why you don't want to fight Sean? Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I get there, and take my time, I'm gonna be ready. And I'm gonna be there, I'm not gonna be there just for a little time, I'm gonna be there for a long time. Now I know you, I mean, you only seen it on screen, you know? Yeah. You can't, but do you think you have better hand speed than Fulton and Leo? Well, I know you sparred Leo, but do you think, let's just talk hand speed. Do you think you got the, the fastest hands in the division or? It's like this. I'm really not a talker. I'm, I'm more so I could just show you, but I don't wanna have faster hands than than this person or that person but when you see me they be like oh his hands fast he a bad motherfucker i don't care about being compared to you know one specific person like nah i'm me right but that me. but you know that's what jumps out to people right away True. is power and speed same, yeah mm -hmm. yeah for sure so you, so you think you got eye catching speed or... yeah but i think my ring iq is more so better than anything you know i'm saying it's like i know how to jab move my head and my feet so that's the most important to me you know the speed don't come mm -hmm. got good great speed you like fighting on the inside too or you got to be just... versatile you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying some, some guys ain't not gonna let me box i'm gonna have to fight you know what i'm saying dig turn them spin them so i'm gonna just have to be able to make those adjustments i can't plan on fighting one style you know each and every time like, you gotta be able to make adjustments so how was that work with uh, Angelo Leo? When you worked with him. I worked with him a, a long, like a while back, but it was good work. You know I'm saying he's a he just a straight, typical uh, Mexican, you know, straightforward. No one did to the body, throw hard shots. He's got some some pop in that that hook to the body, or shit, I wasn't letting him hit me. <laughs> Hell no, I wasn't standing there for that. He didn't let him hit me. Shit. Got out of there. <laughs> Got out of there. You know, I, every, I mean, everyone that becomes a professional has confidence. But could you talk about the confidence you do have, you know, getting to where, getting to the elite? You know, everybody wants to get there, but why do you feel you really will? It's a, it's a, it's a mentality. You know what I'm saying, like, like, you got a champion mentality, and you, you really living like that. You, it's only right that you become. You know what you what you live in, what you putting out into the universe. I'm putting out championship shit, so soon when it's my turn, I'm gonna be champion. Have you just been staying out in Vegas working? We going? Yeah, that's all in Vegas. Is this where all the sparring's at, for right or? Kind of all over, but I've been in Vegas for the last few weeks. But like like a month ago or so, I, I was out, I was out in Miami. I was training with Floyd. You were. I came back. Hey, then we the, then we went to LA. We was training a little bit more. Then I came back this time. Uh, I'm staying. What did Floyd say when he got to look at some of your skills? Uh, he was just putting me up on game, just teaching me shit. You can't get caught up into like like impressing him. Yeah, yeah, like you just I'm just I'm just me. Like I'm just me. But no, I 
he gave me some great game and just, you know, taught me a lot of stuff. I you, can't tell you what he told me. That. No, come on, I, tell I, me. I won't do it. No. <laughs> I can't. It was that. gems though. Yeah. Is is it where it was it gems that you couldn't really get from anyone else? Yeah, for sure. Because he did it at a, at a high level, you know, for so long. So he got a chance to see it in and out. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that he was able to pass that game down to me. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? In, in my young professional career. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so. You, Floyd. <laughs> for real. <laughs> for real, he's right. So he still. No, he didn't have to do that. I, I appreciate right. him a lot for that. Especially these days, man. He don't take his time out for a whole nah. lot of people these days, man. And he ain't just working me one time. He was working me over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? So I came back. So, but you're staying quiet and humble about it. Um, so it sounds like, are you not letting going to Miami, you know, having these these peaks into the, the big time, right? You know, whether it's rolling with Dev, rolling with Floyd, but yeah. that doesn't... You know what I got out of all that? Like... It was a hell of a learning experience, but a lot of times people get caught up into, you know, just him and his lifestyle. But where I'm from, I'm from St. Louis, so like, like my upbringing was different. It's like, you gotta get your own. Like he motivated me to, you know, wanna come back and work to where I can, you know, one day I'ma own a private jet. You know what I'm saying? I'ma have nice houses. I'ma put my people on in position, you know what I'm saying? So you can't really get caught up in that for too long and you will start to really thinking that you him and trying to live like him and do what he do. No, you got to do you, you know what I'm saying? So you take the game, uh, you know, I process it, then I digest it, and then I perfect it. <laughs> so, DC, man, anything else yeah. you could let us know right now? Before, well, we're going to get you on television, maybe whether it's, what you, I know you can't say where, but whether it's Showbox, Top Rank, The Zone. You're going to see me on the TV real soon, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to put... The boxing world on notice. I'm saying, and the 122 pound of it. Sure. Yeah. He locked in. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, man. I know all the talent you have, and I'm just looking forward to seeing you um, get the opportunity to show it to yeah. everybody. No, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Darren, aka Little Andre Ward. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my man. I love Drake. <laughs> Hard not to. <laughs>